The Hubble telescope orbits our planet, looking out at the big unknown universe. Since it's out of our atmosphere, the Hubble can see way further than telescopes on land. No clouds up there. This guy helped us confirm the theory about supermassive black holes in the center of galaxies. It also discovered a whole bunch of new galaxies, including the world's oldest one, which is about 8 billion years older than our own. But let's travel 25 light years away to another special star, Fomalhaut. It's one of the brightest stars in the night sky, and it's in the constellation Southern Fish. It's almost twice as big and heavy as the Sun. If you look at it from far away, you can see a bright yellow disk around it. It's a debris disk full of bits of space rock, and it's huge. Its width is about 25 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Scientists were curious about it. Was all this space dust going to get smushed together and become a planet one day? But then they saw something else. Right there, through all that debris, was a massive, mysterious object. A large yellow dot orbiting the star. It looked like it was skating around a cosmic ice ring. So, in 2008, scientists announced they had discovered an exoplanet called Fomalhaut b. It was the first planet outside of our solar system that we could actually see with our own eyes. It's hard to know how heavy it is. Probably like a couple of Mars is put together. And it lives pretty far from its host star, about four times the distance from the Sun to Neptune. One year on the planet would be the same as 1,700 Earth years. We'd all be babies over there. So, one question. Does the planet even really exist? Scientists sat around arguing about it. Then, in 2012, the trusty Hubble telescope came up with some new data. It was real all along. If it was a gas giant like Jupiter or Saturn, that would make it incredibly young, 10 times younger than Earth. And all that dust around it seems to shine nonstop. You'd have to wear sunglasses 24-7. But now, it's disappeared again. Nothing but a donut of debris. So? Maybe it was destroyed by a giant asteroid, like the one that wiped the dinosaurs off the face of the Earth. Or it may have been crushed by a rogue planet. These are planets that fly around the galaxy without a clear orbit. Maybe the dust is all that's left from a head-on collision. Or maybe something went crazy in the planet's core, and it exploded from within. Scientists now believe that Fomalhaut b was never actually a planet in the first place. It was just the leftovers of two big rocks smashing together. From far away, that kind of massive collision would actually just look like a yellow dot. These two colliding space rocks must have been at least 125 miles wide. That's like DC to Philadelphia wide. But this isn't the first time a planet's just up and disappeared from view. Scientists thought they'd found an Earth-sized planet orbiting our neighbor, Alpha Centauri. They called it Alpha Centauri BB. Not exactly flashy. Plus, in the end, it turned out it didn't exist. Oops. Scientists make mistakes, just like the rest of us. Not long ago, they thought there might be life on Venus. They found traces of a special gas, phosphine, which can be a sign of life. It was the top story for a month. But then, someone decided to double-check the data. There was some phosphine floating around, but not nearly as much as they thought. Travel back in time a couple of hundred years, and you can find even sillier mistakes. Back then, people believed that the Sun revolved around the Earth, and that our planet was the center of the whole universe. That's because they didn't have fancy equipment to measure stuff. People saw the Sun rise in the east and set in the west. That was enough to say that the Sun revolved around us. So, what happened to that planet? Basically, the Hubble took a photo of the whole star system. But since it's so far away, the photo came out kind of blurry. Scientists just saw a large yellow dot and assumed it was a planet. Scientists don't usually get photos of far-off planets. They normally have to use math to find them. Space objects are in a constant dance with one another. The dance gives off a lot of energy, like gravitational energy and light energy. It's like this. Say your friend is hiding behind a corner. You can't see him, but you can see his shadow on the floor. It's kind of like what scientists do when they look out into the stars, searching for planets. 
So big deal, a planet vanished billions of miles from here. But what if our perfectly balanced solar system were to lose one of its planets? You better believe it would affect our lives. Mercury's up first. Good news, it's too small to have a gravitational effect on our planet. So we wouldn't even notice if it went missing. Next in line is Venus. This hot planet is sometimes called Earth's twin sister. It's completely uninhabited, of course. Other than that, Venus is one of the brightest spots in our night sky. Pull it out of the solar system and whoa, it's much darker at night. But still, not exactly a big deal. Mars. Life without Mars might even be good for the Earth. There's an asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Mars' gravity can grab an asteroid from the belt, spin it around, and catapult it toward us. Without Mars, the asteroids would stay in place thanks to Jupiter's gravity. Jupiter's heavier than all the planets in our solar system combined. It holds back the asteroid belt, and its gravity is actually strong enough to affect the Earth. A couple of thousand years after it disappears, we'd notice big changes. We'd move closer to the Sun, which means a couple of things. One, we'd have much hotter weather all year round, and two, our days, weeks, and years would be shorter. Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are all too far away for us to notice if they go missing. That just leaves one. No, not Pluto. What if the Moon disappeared? Basically, chaos. The Earth would tilt even more than it already does, and the weather worldwide would go crazy, even crazier than now. It might even lead to a new ice age. The Earth would start spinning a lot faster, so instead of 24 hours in a day, we might have anywhere between 6 to 12. And even though nights would be a whole lot shorter, they'd also be darker than ever. When we see the Moon, we're actually seeing the Sun reflecting its light off the Moon. And even a new moon is usually the brightest object in the night sky. If the sun were to disappear from our sky, it would be pretty much game over. This star is the center of our whole solar system. Without it, the orbits of all the planets would collapse, and we'd move around in complete chaos. The Earth, the moon, and all the other neighboring planets would just shoot out into the universe, heading for… well, we just don't know. Daytime would be a thing of the past. We'd need the sun for that. So it would be nighttime forever. We'd probably never see the moon again. We'd probably never see anything again. The Earth would get colder and colder, and all the water on the planet would gradually freeze. But what if the sun turned into a black hole? We might still orbit around it. Hopefully, we're far enough away from it to stay safe. Mercury and Venus might be swallowed up, but we might get lucky. So we'd stay where we are, but we wouldn't have the sun to warm us. If it happened slowly enough, we might be able to adapt. We'd need a new power source, a new light source, and plants would have to adapt to get their energy from somewhere else. We'd probably need to build a huge tent-like thing over every city, forest, ocean. Or we might just jump ship and move to another planet.